This is Big Brother Eviction Show number two, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Please welcome your host, Gretel Killeen. in trees. Well, tonight, great things come in trees. Because late tonight, the wall that has been separating the two houses will be coming down. Before that, of course, we will be meeting Friday night's evictee. Now, you are all watching Friday's show, and you saw the beautiful skater boy, punk boy, gorgeous house boy Jamie get evicted and he will be here with us. Yes? And after that, we will discover who tonight's evictee is. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will it be Leah? Will it be Daniel? Will it be Carlo? Yeah! Or will it be Belinda? Yeah! All right. Now, there is still time to vote. The SMS lines, of course, closed at midday today, but the phone lines are open until 8 o'clock tonight. So, let's get those numbers. To kick out Carlo, call 1902 555569. To bowl out Belinda, ring 1902 To deal one to Daniel, call 1902 Or to lose Leah, phone 1902 So vote with your head, vote with your heart, but use your fingers to do the phoning. Now. The housemates have had so many shocks this week. They've lost two housemates, they've gained two housemates, one of those housemates was voted out, and others were given immunity from next week's nominations. Let's cross to the roundhouse and give them a cuddle. Hello there. Oh. 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 <laughs> Chrissy. Where are you? Leah, get your head out of the shot because I'm going to talk to you later. Duck down and sit under the table. I was on my way to the toilet as Everyone, well. I know Joanne's in the toilet, so it's perfect timing. Chrissy, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm in the <laughs> I know, you just have to talk to thin air because you can't see me, can you? I don't, am I looking in the right direction? I can't tell you because then you'll know where a camera is, won't you? <laughs> Now, oh look, Joanne's come. Weena, where you been? Weena, where you been? Back from the toilet, Joanne. Hi. Now, how are you going? Because a lot of you have missed Ben and Regina this yeah. week, haven't you? Yeah, very much. And how are you feeling tonight? I'm very well. Very well, thank you. Oh, that's very polite of you. I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> All right, let's move around the table. Now, who else have we got there? There's Claire. Claire, your hair's looking exciting today. Thanks, Gretel. How's yours? Did you stick your finger in a socket? <laughs> <laughs> no, you look absolutely beautiful. Now, what's it like being in this new house? I totally love it, totally love it. I don't uh, regret moving, but I miss the guys from the other house. So if you could possibly say hello to all of my old flatmates, that would be great. You know I'm not allowed to give messages, don't you? But I'm going to miss uh, saying goodbye if one of them gets evicted, please. 
Well, I'll say that I will, but I can't promise I can because Big Brother's <laughs> listening. I'll do my best. Thanks, now, look, Greta. it's a pleasure. Patrick, how are you going? Hey, Greta, how are you doing? You look like you've got a terrier in front of your face because Claire's hair's there. <laughs> Let's have a look. Patrick, how are you going? I'm very well, thanks, Greta. All right, your guitar playing doesn't seem to be getting that much better, but those two chords, you know, are good, aren't they? No, I've got three now. You've got three yeah. chords. Oh, well, train whistle blowing, here we come. All right, now let's just move around the table. I just want to see if there's anyone I haven't spoken to. Now, of course, Daniel, I'm going to catch up with you a bit later, and Leah, I'm going to catch up with you a little bit later. You look gorgeous, Daniel. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Over and out. Well, in the roundhouse, they seem to support and nurture one another. In the square house, it's anything but. The behaviour in the square house has hurt some people's feelings in previous weeks. But this week, there's also been physical pain with twisted ankles, panic attacks, infected follicles and the intruders, Regina and Ben. So, maybe I'll have a long... Oh, no, I won't. I'll cut over to them right now because we've suddenly got them on cue. Right, Here they yes. are. I've got you. Spying on you, three blokes in the garden. Are there three of you? Where's Vincent? Four. Nah, he's inside with the other Benjamin. group. He's in the other group. Oh, and he's talking to the girls, is he? Yes. <laughs> That's not really the philosophy in your house, is it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't act like you're innocent, we Ben. We've been watching you. <laughs> and you too, Saxon. <laughs> I'm innocent. Don't blame it all on Carlo. Ben, how are you going in the new house? Yeah, very good. Gretel, feel a lot better this week. Yeah, you've been burping a bit, I noticed, so you must be fitting in. That's it, good. He's rubbing off on me, which is good. All that window <laughs> I built up from over there. That's good. Now, Saxon, how are you going? Yeah, it's good not to be nominated. Just mucking around. It's good. Oh, you got in! <laughs> now, Carlo, you feel like a bit of a cuddle. How are you going? Nominated, yeah. <laughs> yeah, has this been a tough week for you? Every week's a tough week, Gretel. Every, when I don't get to see you, Gretel, every week's a tough week. Yeah, you think that'll get your points? Probably <laughs> will. <laughs> OK, let's have a look. Now, who else is nominated in the house there? Belinda, you look beautiful. Thank N you. Now, how are you feeling? Oh, excited again. Excited? Yes. Or scared out of your wits? No, excited. Are you? Yep. All right, well, I'll just go to the girl who calls a spade a spade, and that is Regina, who, of course, has just put something in her mouth. Thanks, Regina. <laughs> How are you going, Regina? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I know that both of you are obviously attracted to the light on the wall, but I wonder if you could actually turn around and face the other way. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and who have we got there? Vincent. Hey, Colonel. How are you, Vincent? I'm very well, thank you. Have you had a tough week? Nah, it's been not too bad. You keep your thoughts to yourself, don't you? I always do. Just wait till you get out here. I'll be probing your brain. Don't you worry. Nice to see you all. We'll catch up with you. Well, maybe we'll see some of you out here. You, Gretel. Nice to see you. Over and out. Bye. <laughs> All right, well, tonight the chill winds of eviction are blowing around both houses. I wonder how Carlo will cope with the eviction wind blowing up his boxes as opposed to him letting wind off. This is Big Brother. This week, there are two nominees for eviction. Come on. Belinda and Carlo. <laughs> I've been nominated this week. Yeah. It was a shock to the system. It hasn't been a really good week. <laughs> oh, my God. It hurts so much. I think I was just shocked that I was nominated, but... How's he sleep? Mm. How can someone so f***ed up in the head? Dude, seriously, no one's mm. going to drag you down the most if you talk about it out loud. But it's inevitable, dude. When you're living 24-7 someone that's faking this whole time, it gets down. There's nothing you can do about it. If I've got a problem with someone, it's not like I'm bitching behind their back, but I've got to talk to someone about it. I must be the most shallowest, hardest, no hardest person around. Always mucking around, having fun. We could I escape. There's never a, a dull moment. I only can do so much. I'm only one man. Yeah, you wash your bloody hands. It's a wonder they're not dead. <laughs> I guarantee it. If the people can see what we see here, then the decision's almost easy. I hope that I can make it through Sunday, because I don't want to go like this. Carlo enjoyed his first 
two weeks, but has found the last week hard. In contrast, Belinda found the first two weeks very difficult, but has blossomed over the last few days. It's been probably the best week I've had in here for sure by far. I'm Regina. Hi, Regina. Um, it's really weird in here because they all don't talk to me as much as they talk to each other. It's like I'm not part of the group. Beforehand, I did care what people thought. She's trying oh, yeah. to put a point across. Bell, please. Huh? I'm just talking to her. It's all right. Never talk to me. It's cool. If I wasn't a strong person, I would have left by now because of him. But now there is a couple of stronger people in the house and actually it's brought myself out even more because they are talking to me and listening to me at the same time. It's just nice to be able to talk. Because for the last two and a half weeks, I haven't said anything hardly. The team spirit, when everyone did hurt themselves. You're right, big blue dress. Just to see everyone come together and then to achieve the task afterwards as a team. So that was probably the most fun I've had this week. I'd love to stay in the house longer if I could. I can't wait to see if I go. I love the Sundays, so I'm really looking forward to it, no matter what happens. Eviction drum in the square house. We'll check the rhythm of the roundhouse nominees, Leah and Daniel, after the break. The tension is mounting, each vote is counting. At 8 o'clock, the lines are closing, so phone now and give someone a one way ticket on the eviction van. Thinking then. Sex. After mm. a full moon, is there no moon? I just want to know. Where's the hat? I don't know. I'm an astronomer. What? What? After the full moon. Let's <laughs> put it on. We're not arguing. Just put the hat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what there is, but there's some kind of moon, but I don't know what kind. What? Is that right? <laughs> did, she <laughs> something, did she say something more stupid? No, Sex you're moon. keeping the heart. <laughs> but she knows there is a moon. <laughs> it's been there. I've been looking at it. You're wearing that hat for so long, it's not funny. <laughs> Big Brother. Tonight we'll announce the latest to Vic D and meet Jamie who was evicted on Friday. Yes, we are revved up and racing towards tonight's eviction. It's nearly time to take another housemate out of the Big Brother rally. Those numbers again. To evict Daniel, call 1902 555 562. To evict Leah, phone 1902 555572. To evict Carlo, call 1902 Or to evict Belinda, ring 1902 Now, let's cross again to the roundhouse and see if the nominees are cruising along or going round the bend. Hello, house. Oh, oh hi, Gretel. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to our two nominees. Ah, yes. Now, Leah, <laughs> you found another outfit. You look lovely. I think, well, you know, I was really worried whether I should get all dressed up in that, but then I thought, no, I'll just go for the kind of whatever this look is. <laughs> well, no, it's a good look. And how are you feeling? This is the second week in a row. <laughs> well, um, I feel sorry for my housemates because they obviously want me out. <laughs> <laughs> haven't much luck so far, so maybe they'll get their wish tonight. What are you feeling tonight? Do you think you're going to be the one who's evicted? 
I, can't, I know it sounds really bad, but I'm kind of like excited that if I do, because then I get to see my boyfriend and I get to see my friends and everyone, but then again, I know I'd be really sad to leave everyone, but then I'd be like really happy to be free and go driving in my car and go to the shopping centre and do all normal things. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> all right, well, we may see you a bit later or we may see Daniel. <laughs> Feeling? Um, I can't wait. I, I want to cork it up, you know, get out there and rev the audience up. I've got a cape on. Yeah, I noticed you got your cape, and that's really good. But tell me, when I saw that you were nominated, you looked really quite devastated earlier this week. How are you feeling now? Oh, look, yeah, no, it's good to get over both emotions both ways so then I can deal with whatever happens. Okay, so the first nomination is a hard one? Yeah. Okay, well, good luck to both of you. Thank you, Greta. All right. Over and out, roundhouse. OK. Our third nominee this evening is Daniel. Described as an introvert, he surprised everyone with his ability to entertain and show compassion to those around him. This is Big Brother. This week, there are two nominees for eviction. Leah <laughs> and Daniel. Sand through the hourglass. So are the days of me being. There's something different about the way Daniel's frame is wide, isn't it? Oh, it's completely different. I sort of figure I'm not really at the top or bottom of the scale. If I picture myself in the middle somewhere. This house is now clear. And I try and spot. What the group needs is to be cohesive and try and do that. Like, for example, being able to laugh a lot. Oh, and then you get this bit and you put it under here, and then you get... <laughs> it's not that funny. I sort of see it in the bigger picture sense that it's not just about me necessarily, but who I'm comparing to at any time. That's what con yeah, concerns me when there's tension or when there's stuff happening in the group, if it's getting close to that trigger point. I feel that, yeah, I've been given a fair shot. I've come on here and, and um, been myself. And however that works in the dynamic is fair enough. Well, he's the Jim Carrey of the Roundhouse. Now, our fourth nominee tonight is Leah. We saw a lot of her earlier on trying to find her voice, and now she seems to have well and truly discovered it at full volume. Um, yeah, it's been a really good week all around. Oi. I've had a bit more fun. I'm gonna go yeah. ski. Is that yeah. everyone? Yeah. I, will yeah. I will go to Sarko. Is that this what they're doing? not brilliant at all? I've made the house louder. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit more accepted. I'm definitely a person no, that so. you either love or hate. <laughs> My mum is that obsessed <laughs> with it. She will be doing a Save Leah campaign right now. And like, put posters up, we don't give a rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that would have your picture on it, Danny. Big Brother's sort of starting to play a little bit with our heads. I love it. It's just so cool. This place, what we are in right now, no one can comprehend it. No one. If I do get evicted, I will miss it because I'm really starting to love it. It's still been so fun. Yeah. Like, it's been an experience I'll never forget. Go, that Patrick boy was so nice. Why don't you bring him home? And I go, Mum, he's ready to settle down. I'm ready to start. I'm excited either way. Housemate turned intruder turned evictee Jamie joins me here live on stage. Vote now. Who will go? You decide. Time to vote. I don't think I've ever had such a profound effect on anybody. The housemates could probably see I wasn't myself. It's been an experience I'll never forget. Look at me, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Five minutes to an eviction. Mm. Oh. Can we <sighs> Five big brother minutes. No, this is my mm. Shanker. This is Big Brother. <laughs> there are five minutes. 
to an eviction. Okay. okay, the house. I was just hearing some gossip about what they've been doing in the house, but I can't tell you. I'll wait till our evictee comes out. The heart rates have obviously just jumped in the houses, and so should yours if you haven't voted yes, because the lines will close in just a few minutes. So press those buttons pronto. To evict Carlo tonight, ring 1902 555569. To evict Belinda, call 1902 To evict Daniel, call 1902 Or to evict Leah, phone 1902 Now, this week has been extraordinary. On Monday night, when the nominees were announced, Big Brother asked everyone to pack their bags. The following night, a boy and girl from each house was asked to volunteer to intrude on the other house. They were told there would be a reward and a price to pay for the swap. The price was that one intruder would then be voted out. The reward was immunity from nomination for the remaining three people. They all fitted like round pegs in round holes until it was time to vote. That reward will be ten thousand dollars. Oh. I'll invite you individually into the diary room shortly, where you'll find a voting slip with your name. On the form, you'll find that there are four boxes with the names of all four intruders. The number one vote is for the intruder you most want to leave. The number two vote is for your second choice of intruder you want to leave the house. Number three, number four, and so on. At no time was there to be any discussion of who you voted for. It's time to go, Jamie. Love it. Love it. You got your 10 grand. I want to I want to give you this. I've take a photo of you. Now this is your phone. It's part of the Optus Mobile really? Home Communications really? package. So that is yours. Wow. It takes photos and you can send them with oh, emails wow. and all of that. Who obviously I am completely illiterate with this and voila, I can now explain. This is it. You get $100 a month credit with Optus, and Ooh. then you get this thing which you put into your computer, I believe, and it makes everything work. And then Throw me your phone phone. numbers, I'll call you all. I want to get through this. <laughs> this is fantastic, but Excellent. you are fantastic. Look at you, you come out of here, oh, wow. and you're so excited. I mean, you've got the 10 grand, fantastic, well done. Thank you! Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Sorry. No, I completely understand, because this is you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Seeing as you're wasting time, I'll now tell everybody the phone lines are now shut. I'll tell you, the phone lines are now shut. Now, I want you to concentrate and focus on me. All right? Because... <laughs> That's what I say to all the boys. All right, now, here we go. You went into that house, skateboarder, punk rocker, the whole bit, and then you became quite subdued. What was that like in the house for you? Uh, I didn't, wasn't comfortable. I'm not used to being the quiet guy. I'm always the big, loud guy of the group, and at clubs, I totally lose it and just jump around. People will come and ask me, dude, how drunk are you? I'm driving tonight, I'm revved up. So, so what happened? Was there like a vibe in the house? that? Because sometimes it's hard to express yourself if there are really big personalities yeah, in there. definitely. If someone's really, really loud, then I won't go up as well, because it'll be just too much clutter. And you know what else? You're the youngest one in the house. 
So did you no, get a little bit... Leah was. No, in your house, I'm though. My house, yes. You're in your original house. You were the youngest one. And I just wonder, I want you to have a look at this package because there was a little bit of this little brother thing going on. Let's have a look. Yep. We'll be inside in a minute, all right? Just... Almost there. We're almost done. We're having a... I'm a DNM. Small guy to big guy talk. I've never made one in BAs. This is awesome. Yeah. Always wanted to, but it was way too complicated for me to go and go it alone. One, two, three. Okay. Really? You can choose first. Choose, choose someone. Hey, don't put your hand in there. <laughs> Rinse it. Quick. Cuddles, 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 yeah, cuddles. Your legs first. If I was here or she was here, who would you play with more? I'd you. play with the boys. Yay! Really? Jamie, you. Thanks, guys. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Every Jamie. day's yeah. a bonus. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Just understand that they mm. see so the group starting to form now. They didn't know on purpose. You really gotta understand that. Yeah. Do you wanna see what it came out? Hey, we, yeah, we did that shit. Oh, oh, no, that's not it. That's naughty. Hey, there's my little brother. Step back. Sick. 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 you feel great affection for everybody here and I know you've got a legacy item that is yes I do that's to contribute money to charity what is your okay. chosen charity this is my favorite belt it goes to food not bombs down in Melbourne they're a local charity group give homeless people food food not bombs okay now you all know that you can bid for this on the website which is this belt has many stories many stories to tell what did you say it's got many stories to tell I've been through a lot with that belt I've been through a lot with this belt. There we are. You look after that. We know that the website address is bigbrother.optus.com.au. And now, I should give you some more prizes, but I, what I really want to do... Well, I'll get, I really want to do this too. MasterCard, like you're not rich enough, 2,000 bucks. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Excellent. You're like the world's richest 18-year-old. Oh, no. Oh. And with all the chicks you pick up with that, a Kentucky, I'll read it here, Resort, Great Keppel oh, wow. Island, you and a friend. Eight days, seven nights, Kentucky Resort. Who's coming? <laughs> Who's coming? I want to say, <laughs> STA Travel also for that one. Thank you. And, of course, the thing that all boys love... What's this? Very own PlayStation. No, it's a food blender. It's a, it's a Sony <laughs> PlayStation 2. How cool is that? And it's a DVD player. Thank you. Thanks, no, guys. But thank you. This is awesome. I want to say a big thank you to you because going into the house, I mean, 18, it's a daunting, daunting thing. You never talk badly about people. You were so straight and honest yeah. and cool. Well, how hard was that? Not hard at all. Really? Not hard. I'm always... I never talk bad about anybody. Well, no, I really I love everybody. for that. Everybody's so cool. You're fantastic. Great to watch. I mean, it's a joy to have you here. Thank you. Um, and I just want to give you one other thing. We've got to know you a little bit in the house. And, of course, what happens here is people vote on the website to see what gift they think you would like. And they thought, knowing you as we do, that you might like this authentic oh, wow. skateboard from 1970s. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. That's cool. Thank you Let's so much. Let's take a quick look at your time in the house. Excellent. Oh, wow. He's a bit sad. Does she mind that you go both ways? Oh, no, I was kidding. You're not cool anymore, that's it. And now I'm over here. I make right angle turns. I'm gone. I'm here, I'm gone. Wait, I'm like wait. Tron. Ah! That reward will be $10,000. Oh. My friends mean the world to me. I would die for my friends. Are you there? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to do the slow clutch control. Oh, hang on, wait. If you're a learner, keep the handbrake on. <laughs> Have you got the CD? Yeah. Oh my god. He'll yes, know. well. He'll know some well. songs. Hey, I'm no all. Song is isn't it? No, it's about. Oh, stop it, <laughs> Pansy. It's time to go. Jamie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't one. Tell him I'll see him all real soon, and to Vincent especially. Oh, give me a hug, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to cry. See you, Jamie. Surprisingly, how much that hurts. Excellent. 
Huge thank you to Jamie. Thank no, you, thank Jamie. You. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> awesome. Well, you know, this is the very last eviction from two separate houses, and preparations are already underway because at 11 o'clock tonight, this is news for you, Jamie, they'll be starting to remove the wall and the two houses will become one. But have the housemates been separated too long and is it impossible for them to become one large family? Can you guess what will happen when Leah finally meets Saxon? <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> well, now, let me just check with Big Brother. Is it time to find out? OK, let's have a look at the envelope. Okay, I just want to confirm which house are we going to? All right. We're going to the square house. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, yeah. Hi, Gretel. Okay, that was the longest five minutes of your lives, wasn't it? Yeah, Where are we like looking? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Where are we looking? It's time to go. Where should they look, big brother? Where you're all looking is absolutely all fine. My name. All it's yellow. time to go. Carlo. This is Big Brother. You have 20 seconds to leave the house. 19. 18, Enjoy the 17, Enjoy it. 16, okay. 15, Enjoy it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, yeah, see, boys. Is Before joining me here on stage, Carlo has a mind-blowing journey in the eviction van. He will, of course, be expecting a golf buggy ride because that's been our tradition. But instead, he'll be spending the next few minutes travelling here from the square house, being bombarded with images of himself. <laughs> You're watching Big Brother and we'll be back with Carlo after the break.
please. How you feeling? Scared. <laughs> a bit, um... Damn. Damn, damn. I didn't think it would be this big. I, I know, it's pretty mind-blowing, isn't it? Breath. Well, yeah, let, yeah. let's have a chat. Um, a bit of tension in the house before you left. It's... Come on, hush. I'm We're trying to talk, right? <laughs> OK, so, um, bit of tension in the house just before you left. You had a bit of a fight with Belinda. Look, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't that. It, was, it just... I get along with everyone. I like to get along with everyone. I try my best so hard. And when, when something happens that happened in the house that alienates me from this person and it wasn't my fault, I just, I don't know, I didn't know how to react to it and I've never been in that situation. And I obviously got, I don't know, whatever happened, but it's now, I'm out of the house, I get to ring Tracy's and come down from Canada and people are screaming. Well, when your name was announced, Saxon started to cry. I love Sax. Sax is a really good bloke. Vote Sax, all right? Sax. Sax is a really good bloke. And then Benny came in and then had Vince, another Italian fella. It was just, it was really getting to that nitty gritty. And yep. then the next nomination, if I was still in there, would have been hell. Would have been so hard. Too hard to do. So I just, I'm, I'm out of there now, but just, I don't know. Hopefully they just do so well because they're such good guys. And Reggie's such a darling of a girl from Tasmania. <laughs> Reggie. You're a confident bloke, and I know confident. that everybody in the house... Confident? What do you mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> I know that everybody in the house is always concerned about how they're portrayed. Portrayed, So yeah. let's have a look at some footage of you being yeah. Carlo in the house. Over here. That's good, man. I'd love to be 18 again. Like, the f***. What are you? 21. 21. Okay. <laughs> hey, baby. Do you believe in love first? Oh, sorry. No? Do you want me to walk past the Oh, that one. Can't believe I spelled my name wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. If I was single, I'd be trying to shag it this whole time. Oh, yeah. I probably would have nailed it. I'm not going to have. <laughs> you know what you are? You're the upper man. <laughs> i tell you why. Because he's already pissed all over the <laughs> Because he'll cook everything. Oh, he okay. does all the cooking. It color cooks. Oh, These are done. Oh, you're doing us a favour? Hold this. Then he takes it, takes it to the table, serves it out like Dad does. OK, who wants more? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Here, please. No. Sure. Okay. Yes, please. Couple? Yes, please. How is it, people? It's good? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You probably sleep. Oh, this is mine, because I'm the, I'm the man of the house now. <laughs> I've, I haven't got no one enemy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm always coming out of a party, the most known person at that party. So, could you imagine now, all the bitches that shagged me, or got close for shagging me, or kissed me, or whatever, got my number. Could you imagine? Mm, yeah. Yeah, if I haven't left this house, it'd be relatively boring house. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying up as I am. I'm just telling you how it is. give you one of these, which is a beautiful Sony phone. It's from Optus. Oh, nice. It takes photos. Sorry. You go oh, and better it? take a photo of you, actually. Now, everybody here knows, don't they, you get $100 worth of free calls for a month, Good every time. month, per month, whatever. Oh, lovely. Which is fantastic, and it takes photos, and you can send them via email. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and we've got all of that kit, but I'll give it to you a bit later. Yep. So that is beautiful. Thank there you, you go. Much. Photo there. And that is available on the website later, that beautiful photo of you. On my hand, was yeah, it? Yeah, I know, it was a bit of a bad shot, but never mind. <laughs> now, I know that when you're looking at that, like, that makes you think, oh, how have I been revealed? How did you feel about yourself in the house? I just the whole time, I just, because I'm black and white as you get, I just have fun and do whatever, I just don't whatever. And I thought I would have been betrayed. It looked OK. I thought I did OK, but just towards the end, it looked like I was bitching, if I can say it, and I just didn't like that to be portrayed because I'm not that type of person. And that may be at the end. <clears throat> but you know what I mean, that's all. And then I just, that looked really good and I couldn't have done a better job myself. I guess that's a really big preoccupation, how am I going to be portrayed? But at the same yep. token, you've got to live your life in there, don't exactly. you? Exactly, it's so hard to live your life. A lot of people weren't living like they would live and that's, it showed true colours eventually. And I just tried my best to be real and re reality TV and that's what I tried my best. So. Well, we got some beautiful footage of you being real but I think we <laughs> might cut to that after the break because after the break we will also cross to the Roundhouse where they have a theory that they'll lose someone tonight because the Square House, of course, lost someone last Sunday night. Oh, it's square. I will not do that. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Stand by. We'll be crossing back to you in five minutes. No. I heard that last one. 
Mm. And then they said no, you don't. No evictions. Mm. They said crossing that. This is Tracy Joanne Jordan. She's no, Canadian no, no, no. and she is the best thing that's ever happened to me. This show, this is going to be good for me and then when we get off, she'll come live with me in Australia. These girls in here seem absolutely very nice, but no Tracy. So she can watch it 24 hours on the internet. Yeah, but I can't get to watch her though. I miss my missus bad. She just fits in me. Hey, Kylo, I guess if you listen to my message, you're out of the Big Brother house. I hope you're not disappointed. You did awesome. I watch you on the internet all the time. You didn't change a bit. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's a splendor. <laughs> Someone shot me in the crowd. You said in the house that boys don't cry. Boys don't cry. It's a splinter. Well, and, it's the wood decking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm with our latest big brother evictee, Carlo, who has, of course, just seen his girlfriend for the first time. And how long is it? How, when did you last see her? Oh, she left a month before. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I don't know who's lost out the most because... You not only didn't meet the people in the other side, but they didn't get to meet you. No. But you are actually about to see the other housemates as Big Brother breaks some news to them. It doesn't know that. It does, it, it's giving you good it's luck. It's following the game. Yeah. Yeah. This is Big Brother. There will be no eviction from this house mm -hmm. this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Big Brother. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's your first squiz at the neighbours. Yeah. Because you'd guess. heard a lot about them. You'd heard <laughs> yeah, about beautiful throwing Joanne things and, and beautiful Joanne. Yeah. And feisty Leah. Do you wish you'd ever got feisty. to meet them? I just want to meet them because I don't want to walk down the street one day and like some guys. I was on Big Brother Three. I'm like, so was I. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know what's happening tonight. Are Late they tonight, the walls going up. Uh, or down, it's being removed. You That's voted the cool. wrong person. <laughs> That's cool. Now, I just want to give you some prizes because you uh, okay, were cool. amazingly fascinating to watch in the house. Okay. You, got, you got the phone. All right, I've explained all of Thanks, that. $2,000 from MasterCard. As you do. Which is incredible. <laughs> Now, Jim. I think that you and your girlfriend will enjoy this because oh. it's Contiki Resort, OK? Great Keppel Island, STA travel, a week for two. I assume you'll want to take her. I'll take my mum. Or maybe Sax, if you seem pretty fond of well, him. Depending on when Sax gets out, I, he can, if he gets one as well, we'll go together. Uh, well, that would be a waste of two free tickets, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> now, this is your Bring Sony PlayStation 2. Oh! How good is that? Mm. And you can play DVDs on it, as everybody knows, because I said all of that before. But DVDs. now, what I want uh. to know is, would you like to see who nominated you? That would be cool. It doesn't bother me. Like, all right. I'll have some idea. And all right. Well, actually, should we have a look at the graph first, Big Brother? All right, let's have a look the at graph. the graph of, of how the votes went. OK, Daniel, 7%. Belinda, 12%. Carlo, 66%, and Leah, 15%. <laughs> OK. Now... That was predicted. <laughs> can, you, can you think what might have caused people in the greater Australia to, to think that they wanted you out of the house? Um... <laughs> Damn that sink. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The hot water ran out, people. I needed hot water. Um, but what, why, why did you wash yourself in the sink? It looked like a bath. <laughs> it was big enough to be a bath. I thought it was fine, and I didn't think they'll show that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And then I was just being myself. I wash myself anywhere where there's hot water, and we ran, and the hot water turns off, if you know. And what I'm are you going to do? What there about going to the toilet in the garden? Do you do that at home? Everyone goes. Yeah, of course you do, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Everyone knows a man's toilet is everywhere you can find a tree. We know this. <laughs> and it's... Unless a copper doesn't see you, you're fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, that's a good point. All right, now... Speaking of Ben. <laughs> let's have a look at who nominated you. Over here. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction? I nominate Carlo for two points because... The same as last time, it, his sexual comments and swearing really does quite offend me. Two points I put down Carlo, because uh, 
feel as though it's treating me like a little kid. It sort of inhibits the, how many ideas I produce and how much I participate in activities and such. As much as I love him, I'm going to have to give one point to Carlo. During the week, he left a message in the toilet and he was proud of it and it was disgusting and you wanted the other people to see it. But I washed it so they wouldn't have to... Um, I love it go through that disgustingness and it made me feel disgusting. Any surprises there? I told you earlier. I That's predicted that. I, I knew that would happen. It was the golden boat and uh, I could see that happening a mile away and... Oh, yeah, so... I get it. I mean, the main thing you've got to do in the house is be true to yourself and you feel like you yeah. were. I, I don't change and I'm like this at home. Everywhere I go, I'm the same. And... I hope that people see that. I just like to be myself and everyone out there, be yourself. You win so much more if you be yourself. The best thing is to be yourself. And if you're, you're yourself and the person doesn't like you, then if the, if, if the person doesn't like you for who you are, then that person shouldn't be your friend because you're better than that. And if yours yourself and then someone else is their self, that you, you make friends and that's the way I've been all my life. I've been myself and I have plenty of friends and I love all my friends and everything. Well, let's have, a, <laughs> let's have a quick look at you being yourself in the house. I should just warn parents, there, there is a little bit of bath sitting and, and weeing in the trees and burping and farting, basically. So, warning if you don't want your kids <coughs> to see that. Um, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's touching skin. Carlo gets up out of the bed. Does he want <laughs> the first one to have a slash in the garden. Yeah, you wash your bloody hands. And then he's supposed to piss in the same spot in the garden at home, and there's a big patch like this. Yeah, you stay, you stay in that spot. Because three months, you're going to end up pissing everywhere. If I don't yeah. fart, I get a sore stomach. Don't you fart every five minutes? I thought it was like an earthquake, and then as I woke up, I could hear the noise. I think when it scared me, I farted. <laughs> Because it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, oh, that's an egg. Right. That was All a right. good pitch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> From day one to day 12, I changed? No. <sighs> Let's go do things. Do any goof? <laughs> <laughs> Miss and Tracy cause me a lot of pain. <laughs> but when I'm in here... <laughs> you are all going to receive a strike. I didn't think I was breaching any rules. I just would love if I say something, just say, shut up, Carla, even if you do it over the speaker. I'm not even comment about your clean-up now. I'm just going to accept it. Belinda? Yo, Sajina. Can you come here and just clean up the bit of a kitchen for me? Oh, I've been crying, dude. I'm a black guy. I don't cry. <laughs> oh, I broke oh, it. I, I can't feel it, dude. Yep. Carla's basis for good cooking is a lot of fat and a lot of salt. And you'll find... Hello! You're going to be able to do that. <laughs> Skip it or not? Just a can-can, mate. As long as you can walk out of your Sunday, I don't care how you are today. I love playing with clay. There you go. I'm finished. This bird's quality. And, um, because we hadn't picked up at that stage, that was the last night I was in Nova Scotia. Like, based last night being in Canada, time to go home, you know? That's the... Every night I always picked up, just like, even a kiss, so, you know what I mean? I couldn't break my record now, you know? You can't understand how I pick up so much. You just can't understand it. Because he's there, he tries, he tries, he tries. It happens, you know what I mean? He's thinking... Today. Now, I should tell you, if you're coming to one of our live shows, make sure that you dress up because the winner of the Best Dressed in the House competition wins a 42-inch uh, LG Flatron plasma screen and it's worth $10,000. Now, speaking of gifts, prizes, you've got your legacy items. What yep. are they? Uh, this is a soccer ball. Okay? Yes, I thought as much. Thank <laughs> um, you. And it's just signed by, well, thinking to me, all the members in the house, but even Regina and Ben got it on there and the rest of the housemates. 
Great. And that's your outdoor one yeah, and this outdoor, is your... And there's also some indoor little fluff ball. Great. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think we know what that <laughs> means. Not necessarily with you, we do. But, yes, we know what those means. And you can bid for those on the website. So go online at bigbrother.optus.com.au to make your bids. And while you're there, vote for which gift you'd like us to be, give Carlo on tomorrow night's nomination show. Now, we will have lots more time to chat tomorrow night, because I know there are lots of things you want to talk about. Yep. But at the moment, I have to ask you the 10 questions. Oh, thanks. All right, now you've got to answer quite succinctly. You ready? Yes. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Uh, I don't know, nothing. It was, it was fun. And um, hardest? That the hot water went off and you had to hot sit in the sink. Hot water went off, there you go. Sorry. Area. What did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Tracy Jordan, Tracy Joanne Jordan. Who is your favorite person? In the house, uh, there's a lot. Yeah, Reggie's cute. Um, Saxon and ah oh, Claire. All, all of them. Who so, was who was your least favourite person? We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who had the most? Lovely girl she is. Who had the most annoying habit? Uh, me probably. <laughs> <laughs> Controlling was, my own farts. <laughs> <laughs> who was the funniest? Funniest. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mate, you can nominate yourself. I'll nominate myself. <laughs> all right. Who was the laziest? L me. <laughs> Gee, you're the winner all round. Right. What Me. was your greatest regret in the house? Greatest regret, regret, um, uh, in the in the bath, in the sink, bath, <laughs> sink. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who do you think will be out next week? Next week, uh, <laughs> if I uh, know, Leah seems like a lovely girl. She can carry her lungs, carry her voice. It's beautiful. Um, if the nominations go as I would predict, I would see Belinda back up there, and if. It was shown properly, she'd probably go. That's all I'm going to say. As you know, it is always shown properly. Thank you, Carlo. And now, finally, who will win? Who will win? <laughs> I, 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 spent, I spent my um, 21st in Tasmania, so I'm going to go Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie, Reggie! All right, now, I know that you are desperate to see a family member because they're not all up here tonight. We've got the brother over there. Come on, my join shirt. us. He's wearing my shirt. Oh, <laughs> now, this is Franco. Come on, walk a bit faster, Franco. Hey, yeah. How are you, mate? Well done. <laughs> nice to see you, Franco. Nice now, to see just, you. just very quickly, because we're running out of time, was this the bloke that you know, the one that you watched in the house? That's Carly. That's it, him in a it nutshell. It is completely him. Definitely. And were you proud of him? <laughs> Very much so. How's mum feeling? Yeah, she's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. She's all kicking. right. Thank you for joining not us. No problem. And a big thank you to Carlo. <laughs> okay, the last three weeks have been chock a block with twists, twists turns, turbulent trauma, and other things beginning with T. But this week, who knows what will happen as the houses we have fondly come to know as the Roundhouse and the Square House become our very own Pentagon, which is appropriate considering we're watching their every move. You can catch all the action tomorrow night, starting with The Daily Show at 7, with the housemates' first moments in their united house and opening up into one gala show with our live nomination at 7.30. Catch all the live feeds at bigbrother.optus.com.au as Big Brother crosses the Great Divide. In the meantime, let's take a last look at the two separate houses before they become one later tonight. I'm going to Colleen, this is Big Brother. Let the games continue. Best friends, older sisters, studying reality TV at um, uni, and I'm her, I'm her thesis. Just this day to day things you do, you go to the same places, you can meet the same people. Yeah. Having a break from that is kind of you know, really interesting. Yeah. And you will look forward to it. Like, this is like a big grand for six weeks or something. I didn't realise how much I relied on my friends because there's many times I've been away from, from family and I've gone to boarding school and I've gone on overseas trips and stuff. I've never gone away from my friends. Never. I really appreciate the night for me. Absolutely, I appreciate the night. So, I hope the night's going to talk. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely.
It was not. Yeah. It was all different. Someone tried it, and it was really. Are you serious? Yeah. The cheese. Yeah, yeah we, we had oh lots of cheese. God, I love cheese. Heaps of cheese. Oh, that is the first time I tried that. This is. Heaps of cheese and got a cask of red, a cask of white, mm. and 12 beers. Mm. Yeah, this looked a lot easier on television. Oh, yeah. A lot easier than I told you. looks so easy than I told you. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.